back out again, um, back at Mealmore, going to be doing a wild camp. A successful one this time, I hope, not like the last time I had to bail. So, parked at Mealmore here, got the big pack with me, and my new tent, which we'll see later on. And, um, cut right across on a trusty track, up to Hare's Gap, um, over Hare's Gap, down the back of Hare's Gap, and follow the trail down to Bencrom Reservoir. Because the wind's coming north, northwest. So hopefully it'll be nice and sheltered down in there. Um, it should be it should be all right for a up maybe a stable block camp. But I've been there and done that, and I've been up Burner, been there and done that. So this time I'm going to try the reservoir. So I've got a pack. I think it's about I don't know 15 kilograms. It's because my new tent kind of weighs a bit more than the old one. So see you on up as usual. We'll see you on up the lane, but I'll not bore you with the trusty track bit. We'll just check in um, a couple of points up to Hare's Gap. On up from the wee style a bit there. Um, not too bad. Weather ways. With no rain. Wind's coming north northwest. So that'll be good when we get to the reservoir because hopefully it'll be sheltered down in there. Last time was up, the wind was coming southwest, which was blowing totally wrong side of the wall, which is, you kind of want it blowing towards Hare's Gap instead of coming the other way. Yeah, it's just a touch more water than normal. But, water breath bitch, etc. It's be grand. Yeah, the wind's definitely, the wind's And then we'll go up through the week yeah. and hopefully the other side of the wall is sheltered. Stop for a wee coffee up at Hare's Cup there and I just fall on this wee trail down. You can see sort of, you can see Ben Crom Reservoir. Start of it in the distance there. Wind's a bit, uh, it's not too bad, it's like coming southwest now, it's, it must be swirling around. Right, well I'm nearly down, nearly down at the reservoir, come a bit, up the hair's gap you see, and you can see up to the burner there.
I think we've got our first view of the campsite here. I think we have to maybe cross over. Cross over this river somewhere. And head down to that green bit down there. over Yeah, there's two spots down here. One here, one on up. So I'll see you on down at the, the bottom slope there. Absolutely amazing. All the waterfalls. And nobody in sight. Bit of sun coming out there as well. So it just left me packed down at down at the reservoir. So I just wanted to come up and check out that wee spot. But it's pretty noisy. So I reckon uh Not got much sleep. Pitch down at the waterfall. There's a bit one there coming up. A couple of east spots there. So the time lapse went a bit wrong. I think the camera fell over, but anyway. Um, this is the burn one. Like, I mean, what a tank of a tent. This isn't budging anywhere. Three guy lines here. Two coming out here, two coming out here, three the other side. And then you've got uh, two options for the door. You can open this door with your re rain guard. Or you can open this door. I have this door open because the wind's blowing down this valley here towards the reservoir. But look at that for you. Might even get a sunset tonight. And then it's supposed to be clear, so might even get starred. See, but well, we're on a wee bit of a slope here. Not too bad, it is what it is. But yeah, cracker tent. Obviously, from Norway. There's my wee pad for the night. If you look inside the, the room there that you have in there. <coughs> Turn it around. Get the seat pad and the bag and everything sort of out soon. But now the plan is to get get the wee tarp set up. I've got a wee uh, collapsible seat. We wee lightweight collapsible seat I'll show you. And uh, only basically set the tarp up here somewhere. Maybe here. Get away, have a wee firebox with me. And a fire log, maybe get that going. Obviously, gonna keep the reds of fire pit there and not be using that. There's one down there as well, not be using that. But I'll keep it up off the get a good flat rock, set my wee firebox up on the rock. 
and then stick my fire log in and it should be should be grand, good to go. So I'll crack on and get this uh, wee tarp set up thing that I've got planned. Uh, two trekking poles and the tarp stretched across with a string. Don't know how it's going to go, but I'll do it so the wind's coming down. It's kind of swirling down here, it's coming kind of down this way, but it's coming down the valley as well. You can see the sun starting to any bit now. And so far, nobody else here, which is good, because I don't really fancy anybody else landing in on me, but if they do, I'm sure there's plenty of room. But I can't see anybody hiking in anywhere. So I reckon I've got it all to myself tonight. You can see the reservoir, Bencrom Reservoir, the dam wall down here. So at least we're on the right side. We wouldn't want to be coming downstream. Not that it's going to do anything, but we just wouldn't feel safe for the amount of water sitting in that against that wall. But yeah, the wind, the wind does pick up brightly. You can see it. Let's see if I can show you this tent. How it sticks the wind. So there, there's, there's a bit of a gust there going. That really isn't budging anywhere. Now the seams are seam sealed it, but it's kind of a bit. I need to clean that up. Wee seams there, but that's you don't need to in that tent. But do you know what I mean? It extra gives it extra protects against the the rain. So yeah, the burn one in all its glory. Why oh, the footprint as well? It was an extra, but you can attach it to the. It attaches to the ground or the tent with the wee clips, so it's all in one. So when you're pitching it, you can uh, you don't have to you don't have to attach the ground sheet. You can just pitch it all ground sheet, everything included. So if it's hammer it down, wind, rain, whatever. Uh, the way the pole slot in, pitch down first, it ain't going anywhere. And then you can get up, get into it and get safe. Um, and that's the good thing about it, yeah. Happy days. So we'll get a sweet tarp set up and I'll uh, I'll bring you back whenever I get this set up, see what you think. This is what I have come up with. A wee uh, tarp set up, just with two trekking poles and it's just a windbreak really. It's not going to rain so it doesn't have to be sheltered totally. Got my wee OEX chair from Go Outdoors, lightweight. I think that's 20 quid down from 60 quid or something. And two Euro hike poles. So we'll get uh, maybe get the wee firebox set up and get some cooking, a couple of burgers to cook. And uh, what else have we got? I think it's just two burgers really. And we'll go with that until the season. Right, so here we have my wee camp for tonight. Solo camp tonight. Um, hopefully nobody comes down now. But if they do, they do. Can't really turn them away if they come down, but there's plenty of room anyway. So here we are. Um, this is my setup for my wild camping. So to start off with, I've got the wee foil pad for the just a wee thin, lightweight, that reflects the heat up. Sleeping pad is the Big Agnes Insulated Rapid SL. That's the short version because I'm only 5 foot 6. That's all I need. Um, sleeping bag, I've kind of got a bigger one, better one now. It's the OEX Levithian EV900 and just a cheap high gear pillow. I've tried all the deer pillows but this is the comfortable, most comfortable one. Um, got my set of RAV slippers and then I've got a big OEX down jacket that we'll put on put on a bit later so that's it really and then I've got the maybe tiny pump flex tail tiny pump which uh, two clicks and it turns into a pump press and hold and it turns into light with three settings and then that can hook up here now a good thing about this north tent fern one it's got its own washing line so you can hang your old socks up there if you don't mind wet stuff hanging i thought it was pretty cool it's only washing line then you've got a 
like a vent right at your head and then one at your feet and then loads of storage pockets one here two over there one up here and then there's a pocket that you can shove your door into and then another pocket here and then the, the doors double so you can have it totally closed or just a mesh so yeah definitely a uh, four season tent and that's it pretty much it yeah um, last tent I had was the Southern Cross one that was very small it was okay but I just didn't have enough room I couldn't set up or anything in it but this here is like a loads of room got all this room up here for all my crap and then I've got more room over here and then my bag can fit in without pressing against the tent um, nice and dry and then that's the footprint and this here as well you can unclip this and move this back unclip this move this all back and have a better area for cooking as well or you can clip this and then this keeps your bathtub of your tent nice and tight and uh, any possible rain that would come running through you'd be grand so with the wind coming down this way I've got this door open as I said but ideally I should have pitched it the other way around and then I could have get, had this door open and this has got the wee hood over it yeah so pretty happy with the setup and uh, as you can see over there the sun's starting to go down so we'll get the frying pan on get the burger cooked up and uh, see you a wee bit Got the big coat on, firebox going, and I found this grid lying down there, so I've raised it up off the ground. So it's not going to burn the ground, and it's got like a, a wee heat shield around, getting some good heat back off that again. Definitely feeling a good bit of heat. Um, I'm not using the fire pit, and I'm just using my own wee setup. <clears throat> so there'll be no trace, no burnt grass, no nothing. So we're all good. And the wee heat shield's doing its job. So that's just a wee fire log and the wee titanium one tigress, I think. Uh, aye, one tigress uh, fire firebox. So I've got that on the go. And then that's my wee table. Um, I think some of the bigger YouTubers, their videos, they got ones for like 40 quid. This one was 13 99 off AliExpress. And then I've got my wee skillet frying pan it's a great job the burger and all cooked on it there so yeah happy days so i'll eat this and just like i say watch the sun go down the sun hasn't down and we're getting really clear skies so i reckon we're going to get some stars tonight once i once it gets dark yeah it's definitely lovely down here Survive the night. Um, I always sound like this in the morning after coming. It's a bit rough, but um, yeah. You can see, we're not too bad. Wind's coming southwest or east, sort of now. It's coming from like north, but it's switched around. Still not too bad, but you can see a bit of mist over the over the top. And over here, you can't really see. Burner. It's in the cloud as well. So all in all, pretty good night. Um, the burn one done really well. <coughs> See the condensate or the mist on it. Bit of condensation in, but I quite expect that. There we go. So the plan is really just to um, get my 
yogurt pot thing in me and maybe a cappuccino and then get going so Take these over there, I'll show you. This is the, it's kind of the hike out. Hike out over the river and then the way up the path, way up back up to Hare's Gap. That's the route it'll be taken. Shall get us sorted and then start getting packed up and get out of here. It's me all packed up. Um, good wee spot there. Definitely remember that for the next time. There is another spot on up the river there, but, but it's very uh, cramped. So left on trees. That's where I was put there, just over there. Here. Um, and I'm just going to head back up the up the trail again, up by this river. Um, good job. There's no more waters come down it, or I might not get across. So. I'll get cracking here and I'll see you on up a bit. You can see the the weather's turned nasty. The rain came in as predicted. I think I said it was 12. I was trying to get away out before um, it came in, but I came in at nine there. So glad I'm not down there now. But I've got all the right gear on. Got more proof trousers, my fire ammo. Uh, got the rain cover on the pack. Everyone's grand. There's about five runners come by me there and they were heading down that way. So we're just going to head on up here. Here's Gap's just up around this corner and then heading down. The goat path, the wind should be behind me. But I don't mind about rough weather. It makes it more enjoyable for me. I like being out in the on the clags in. You can see the clags in right now. to go. There's Gavin now. He's just like right in this corner. We're down the lower slopes of Burner there but you couldn't see it because of the mist. I'll see you on up at Hare's Gap. I see him up at, up at Hare's Gap now. So we're blowing a complete gale. The wind's fierce up here. So let's hope uh, the other side of the wall is going to be a bit more sheltered. Stop for a wee break and then head down to the head down to the goat path. So yeah, I was lucky I got going when I did. Does that come in really quick? It definitely did, didn't I? So we'll see you in a wee bit there. Right, that's the wild camp over. Um, just coming down the lane are the hiking hens. I met them up at Hare's Gap. I don't think they wanted to be on camera, but if they look my channel up, I shout out to the hiking hens. Um, He's done well ladies, definitely, coming down the front bit of Hare's Gap there. So yeah, I'll wrap that up for this one, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. <laughs>